Hello, my name is Mauricio Lanez, Product Development Manager for SDC. In this edition of Tech Talk, I'll be guiding you through a basic installation of our IP-based access control system. At the center of our system is our IP Pro single door controller with enclosure. IP Pro is designed with simplicity in mind and is ideal for our smaller installations. Its embedded software allows users to install, configure, and program multi-door systems in minutes instead of hours. I will walk through a basic hardware installation and then guide you through a few software implementation examples. So let's open up the IP Pro enclosure. The hinge cover is secured by a single flathead screw located under the small black plastic flap on the right side of the enclosure. The reader terminates on the leftmost terminal block. The wiring schematic can be found in the IP Pro installation manual or the reader installation manual. For this demonstration, we will not be terminating a locking device, door contact, or request to exit device. If door status is required, a normally closed door contact would terminate here. Wire your door contact across the DC and zero volt terminals. If remote access is required, a normally open request to exit push button or PRR sensor would terminate here. Wire your RECs across the PB and zero volt terminals. Your locking device will be controlled by the lock relay whose terminals are designated main relay. The main relay is a five amp single pull double throw relay with common, normally open, and normally closed terminals. Refer to the installation manual for examples on how to wire a fail safe or fail secure lock. Lastly, we'll terminate the power. The IP Pro board requires a 12 volt DC source. We will be utilizing SDC's power over ethernet or PoE IP Pro injector and splitter. The splitter will provide a two amp supply at 12 volt DC, which is more than enough power to run the controller board reader, and any of SDC's PoE-capable locking hardware. Our complete line of PoE-capable locking hardware can be found in the PoE Solutions brochure. It offers many options, including mag locks, strikes, electrified lock sets, and our new PoE-capable latch retraction kits, and all guaranteed to be IP Pro compatible. So back to our demonstration. Our 12-volt DC terminates here. Positive DC voltage lands on the terminal labeled 12V and DC ground terminates on 0V. Now that all the connections have been made, I will power up the board. The next step is to establish communications with the controller. For this demonstration, I will be connecting the controller directly to a laptop running Windows 7. Connect one end of your Cat5e cable to the RJ45 jack and the other end to your PC. Please refer to the IP Pro installation instructions for more information on connecting the controller to your existing network. Using a series of video tutorials, I will now guide you through the process of establishing communications with the controller, followed by a few software implementation examples. I'll now be demonstrating how to establish communication with the IP Pro controller when a PC or a laptop is connected directly to the controller's ethernet jack. Out of the box, the controller is configured to use the default static IP address of 192.168.1.60. So I want to change my computer's static IP address to be on the same subnet as the controller. This process is also detailed in the IP Pro installation manual. So first I click on start, click control panel. Click Network and Sharing Center. Click Change Adapter Settings. Double click on Local Area Connection. Select Properties. Double click on Internet Protocol Version 4. Now these are the typical default IP settings for an Ethernet adapter. So I want to change this to use the following IP address. It's going to be 192.168.1. .1. 
Now the last octet can be anything from 1 to 255, but it cannot be 60 since 60 is the default IP address of the controller. So I'm going to make it 100. I'm going to tab down to the next line and it should auto populate it to 255, 255, 255, 0, which is what I need it to be. I'm going to click OK. OK. Close this window and close this window. Not the login of the controller, I can use any standard web browser. So I'm going to use Internet Explorer. And in the URL bar, I'm going to type in the default IP address of the controller, which is 192.168.1.60. Now, if all your IP settings are correct, the user authentication window will appear. Now, there's two pre-programmed login names. One is user, and the other is installer. We're going to log in as installer. And the password is the number nine six times. And now we've successfully logged into the controller. Once you're logged in, you can click on the communications menu. And if required, this is where you would go to change the default IP settings. But that's pretty much all it takes to log into the controller. I hope this demonstration shows you how easy IP door security can be when using SDC's full line of PoE solutions. You can find more information on our website at www.sdcsecurity.com. Until next time, thank you and have a great day.